Okay, this one I found quite frustrating. I was doing a distinct count and putting it in a, a pivot table matrix report. And then when I looked at the, the actual numbers at the end, it was all wrong. So what I'm going to show you is how to resolve that. So let me quickly show you my model first. This is the, the AdventureWorks database. We got sales. Sales are made to specific uh, customers and those sales happen at specific dates. So what I'm going to do is let's quickly jump in here. We're going to say, let's have the matrix ready. We say we want to look at the total number of unique customers and per year. I'm just going to drag the customer, uh, the years in there. And then I got a little measure here called customer count. So it basically does a distinct count on the customer key. So then I know within a year how many unique customers um, we actually made sales to. So I'm just going to drag that. Let's drag that, that into the values. Cool. And right off. Off the bat, you can see that there's a problem. Okay, so let's quickly go to Excel. Let's just show you that. So this total says it should be 18,484. But if you look at the total, it should actually be 23,748. This is just a problem because it's actually applying a distinct count across all of that. Um, it's seeing that total as part of the filter. So we need to actually now um, apply some logic here to make sure that this total amount is correct. Your users will be very frustrated. In a case like this so let's quickly jump into that so what I'm gonna do is let's start a new measure and I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the as one value function so I'm just gonna say if as one value it just basically will tell you if a specific filter contacts only has one value that it's returning returning so let's say it has one value and we say let's do it for date we're doing it by year and if it does have one value make it a yes if it doesn't have one value make it a no anything correctly here yes okay what did i do incorrectly i should have closed that off that should have been closed off so here we go that's better let's try that sorry about that okay cool so now let's quickly drag that measure in here just to see what it says it basically says for each one of these here there's only one value return we're happy with that but for this last one this is the one we want to do an if statement for this one we want to do a sum x but taking off the filters okay how do we do that so we're going to go back to sales measures and say new measure and i'm going to say let's say here if As one value, no, one filter, as one value, yes. What are we doing it by? We're doing this by the date and the year, right? We say, yeah, cool. Does it have one value? If it has one value, what should we return? We should return the customer account. Yeah, customer account, that's good. But if it doesn't have that, what I want to do is I want to do a sum x, okay, of values. So all I'm going to then take all the columns up above because it's got all of all of these rows in it and I'm going to put it into a value so like a, a, a values array and I'm going to do this per date per year yeah and then I'm going to say what do I want to apply I want to apply customer customer account Foop. and let's close it off let's call this thing customer account with with total okay cool so let's say excellent so hopefully if everything works out this should give me all the same amounts as before but then with the grand total being correct so what i'm going to do i'm going to drag this one in here and like a miracle you can see it actually adds it up correctly it's because of our logic there with if it doesn't have one value, we do a sum X of all the values for all those years and one, and we do a customer account across all of them. I hope that I helped you guys. That saved me a lot of time. Anyway, peace out.